We've been married for five and a half years. And uh, we don't have any kids, no kids yet. Um, I haven't really made up my mind if I want kids yet or not, but you know, I'm 27 now, and so it's getting to be that time. And I just, I don't know, if I have kids, it's, they're just going to break and ruin all my stuff. I have all this nice stuff in my apartment now. And, you know, I know motherhood changes you, but I mean, 42 inch flat screen Vizio TV, that, that's unconditional love right there. Uh, I, I did go through a phase briefly, I want to say like six months, where I really did think that I wanted kids, um, the baby rabies as I call it. And, um, you know, luckily I was able to, um, you know, just, just drink until that passed. Um, <laughs> But I realized, um, looking back on it, what was causing it was I was playing a lot of this computer game, The Sims 2. I was just completely addicted. Like, you know, you create little people on your computer and manage their lives, and they just make it look so easy having kids. I mean, they're pregnant for three days. And when they have the thing, it materializes in a cloud of glitter and falls into their arms. And, you know, a week later, it's all grown up and making $500 a day as a recording executive. I mean, who doesn't want that? Magic glitter rock star baby. <laughs> like the mouse wants a day to feed it. Oh, they'll probably just adopt a 20-year-old with their own apartment instead. Just easier. <laughs> I haven't shown you once in my pants, though. Okay, so... <laughs> teach is tending bar, which is really fucking with me. So anyway, I'm Autumn. I have a husband. Here's the guy who said he was sorry to hear about Lily's husband. He's at the gay bar. <laughs> Wait, this is my show. I have a husband, uh, two kids, and three cats. I, it's not a joke, it's just today's my share day. I thought I'd tell you that. We should get to know each other. Um, I've, I've recently inventoried the, the living creatures in my house, and I've decided that uh, if it shits, Cool, I don't want it. I'm all set. I don't need anything else that shits in my life. I have a son. He shits. Um, he's two. He's super cute. I'm a really good mom. I don't smoke pot or anything. <clears throat> and, uh, or swear, drink, or anything. So uh, he's two, and he uh, he likes to do this thing where he like his nose runs because he's got swine flu all the time. And <laughs> what? You don't? So, and, uh, and he'll say, he'll be all running and he'll be gross and I'll be like, we gotta wipe that up because that's embarrassing and it makes mommy look bad, you know. So, <laughs> that's what makes mommy look bad. So, so he, uh, so he's, and he doesn't want me to, he's all like, no, 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 and then all of a sudden he gets really cute and he's like, okay, mommy, okay, and he sticks his nose out like this. And I go to wipe, you know, right there. He goes, no. And he gets this like back and forth motion going really, really fast. And so the snot becomes this like greased, like clear from ear to ear. And he looks at me like, yeah. And I'm like chasing him around the house. Like, God damn it, come back here, let me wipe your nose. And finally I'm like, okay, fine. You know what, you can go to playgroup looking like that. That's fine. Here's two things. One, you don't need to be such an asshole. Okay, you, you're two. Second of all, let's, let's go to playgroup with that. Let's see what your friends have to say about that. Let's take two-year-old little buddy to his little friends and see what kind of peer pressure we got. So we get to playgroup, and I'm all like, uh-huh, here he comes. It's not on his face. Check it. And Iris is all like, yeah, I'm going to go over the blocks as soon as I'm done shitting my pants. <laughs> I'm like, his friends don't care. They're all shitting their pants. They don't care. So I was in Las Vegas with a group of guys. This is what guys do, ladies. By the way, ladies, I just wanted to also say, after the pot dealer thing, I'm also single. Um, any of you... <clears throat> guys, this is a serious talk. Come on, honestly, I'm just trying to be serious. Ladies, don't, don't listen to that. Don't know. But um, I'm sorry for the way, in the short to near-term future, uh, how your boyfriend broke your heart. I'm here to listen to you. It's okay. It's okay. Cry on the shoulder. Cry on the shoulder. I told my mom I'd <coughs> say hi to you tonight. Hi. Anyways, so I was in Vegas, and uh, funny thing about Vegas is you can pretty much just walk up and down the strip, and 
people will just say, come on, come on in here, come on in here, gamble, gamble, what the fuck ever. And there's a guy every 15 paces or so that'll say to you, cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. So, so you're walking, if you walk pretty fast, it's like cocaine, 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 cocaine. If you're running this cocaine, and you're just one steady cocaine across. So I have something to say on behalf of all the single guys. I think attractive married women should have the common decency to let their looks slide. It's not fair. It's like going into a store where there's nothing for sale. I got a buddy who's like, tells me that I should think of it like an art gallery. I should just walk around and appreciate. So I've been trying that. Here's what I've learned. Married women don't like it when you sit on a bench and stare at them for an hour. They're not into that. I, uh, I, that women kind of confuse me. I, like, I, well, here's what I don't understand. Why is it that pregnant women seem to have an entirely different system of time measurement than everyone else? You know, like, like you walk up to me, you're like, oh, how far along are you? And she's like, I'm 37 weeks. 37 weeks? What is that in human time? <laughs> I, was just, I was just making polite conversation, you know? Like, I, I, have a, I have neither the time nor the brain power to divide by four, okay? <laughs> just tell me when the goddamn thing pops. <laughs> and it doesn't stop there, either. After they have the kid, it just switches from weeks to months. You're like, how old is your son? And they say, he's 18 months. No, he's not. He's a year and a half. We're not aging cheese here, Mom. <laughs> like, I just don't understand why this is. I feel like, like the next time one of them asks me what time it is, I just want to tell them in like 24-hour Greenwich Mean Time just to be difficult. <laughs> Have you got the time? Oh, yes. It's 2200 hours Zulu with a northwest wind and a Beaufort reading of seven. <laughs> Little nautical humor right there. A fucking moth. Just got attacked by a moth. All right. So anyway, um, a lot of weird things. I, I was driving down uh, Route Seven the other day. I saw this place called Ready Funeral Home. You seen this? Is this the guy's name or is it the chosen name of the business? Because either way, it's a horrible name for a funeral home. Is any of us ever really ready? I think they should call it Ready or Not. It's me. Go a little further down uh, Route 7 and you'll see a place called the Ho-Hum Motel. That's a great name, right? Like, what, what, what a great marketing choice. I bought a CD flea bag motel on the side of the road. What should I call it? Well, how about something that conjures the concepts of boredom and mediocrity? Ho-Hum, yeah, ho -hum. What if you're having a, an affair with your secretary and you bring her there for the first time? You know, like she gets out of the car, she's like, Ho-Hum? What are you trying to say? That I'm average? No, no, I'm just, I'm saying to, don't get your hopes up, that's all. On my way here this evening I hit a moose, but you know I don't care because he's talking shit about my mom. <laughs> One benefit to being morbidly obese, you're virtually guaranteed to never be kidnapped. <laughs> If you're rich, you can walk into an appliance store, ask for a golden shower, and not get arrested. <laughs> However, you can get arrested if you, if you attempt to buy caulk at a hardware store in Boston. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to break up with my imaginary girlfriend recently. I just couldn't see her anymore. <laughs> I went on a date recently up to Montreal, and on the way home I ran out of gas, so next time I'm going to take it to a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> My car got repossessed last night, which sucks because I can't afford another exorcism. <laughs> If Jehovah's Witnesses believe that only 144,000 people get into the gates of heaven, why do they continue to recruit no members? <laughs> Technically speaking, both Christians and transvestites are cross-dressers. The Quran apparently states that 72 virgins will be waiting for you.